The following is a sponsored video for Jurassic World Evolution 2. Hello everyone, welcome to truly one of the most amazing things I've ever been a part of. I am sitting here with a man who needs no introduction, but I'm going to do it anyway because I get to say this. Jeff Goldblum. I'm blown away that this is us right now. It's, I'm more blown away. The great Jess Cox. Today, we're about to play Jurassic World Evolution 2. And we're going to see what happens. I honestly, I, I expect good things. I expect us to run a park without fail and frankly, uh, make a ton of money. And I will do whatever <laughs> is required. <laughs> it's all I ask. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's great. The great Jess Cox. Thank you. Welcome, everybody. And thank you, Jess, for having me. I'm honored. It's a great honor to be with you and to be with you and to be talking about Jurassic World Evolution 2. Mm -mm -mm. We don't have to talk. We can play. We might as well just play. Let's play. I'm excited about this. This is, this is huge. Like, this is big really? for me. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, because you are a game master. That, I, I will take that. Wow, I'll take that. Game master? Well. I mean, we'll see what happens when we're done with this, that you may take that back. No. You may be like, mm, I don't know about that. I, I already feel your power and feel your <laughs> prowess. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank I'm you. glad you feel like it's radiating off of me. It certainly is. You Good. should feel. I feel like I've wandered into the boiler room in a, <laughs> in a big ocean liner. Uh, it's, it's, it's warm, quite warm. Well, that, <laughs> that's just the lights probably. I mean, uh, maybe it's the lights. Yeah. So. Okay, so we're okay. going to do chaos theory. I like it already. Okay, yeah. yeah. This is a, uh, think of it this way. Imagine a different reality. Yes, sir. In which... At the end of Lost World, everything just went smoothly. Ah. And then outside of San Diego, they decide to build a new Jurassic Park. Wow, I get, I get the idea. Yeah, and that's, that's what this is. Okay, they who? They, they, I guess, jo wait, wait, John, ha they remind me about that second draft. John Hammond is no longer in the, oh, yes, he is. Yes, he is. He invites you to, see, I am a. He says, oh, go, yeah. go save your girlfriend, Julianne Moore. Yes. Uh, which I do. We go to the island, then we come back, but. Oh, oh, what's his name? You know, that, that, that bad guy. The, like the InGen guy, the dude who's like the, the nephew or the son or whatever. Of Arliss Hammond. Howard, Arliss Howard. Uh, but he was bad and, uh, and he and I are at loggerheads in that movie. Yeah. So he, so, he, so, 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 so everything goes okay. Okay, I get yes. that. Yeah. San Diego. And that is where we will head. Really, San Diego. Hey, what's this from? Stay classy, San Diego. Uh, Anchorman. Exactly, Ron. Burgundy, mm -hmm. Anchorman, that's right. And so I'm sure Ron Burgundy would be here opening day for whatever we're about to create. I see, that's the conceit that we, on the player, can create Everyone was so caught up. a, oh look at that, I like that. That's the, you know, that's from the first movie, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. Look at that beautiful T-Rex. When dinosaur, later, ooh, what's this? This is the uh, second movie with the compies on the beach. Of course. Hey, what's the name of the actress who played the daughter? Oh, no, I do not know. I should know. She's fantastic. Oh, somebody, find, say, you and the internet, somebody find out. She's, she's fantastic, and she's uh, grown into a wonderful actor and, and woman. But anyway, she, um, yes, she gets in trouble with the compies. Right. I, I knew that scene. And what's this? This is, yeah, this is the plan. Look at great Richard Attenborough. Oh, he just, he just almost uh, ran me over there. He's fantastic. And is that, wait a minute, that's not uh, Bob Peck from the first movie. No, no, no. That's not one of those, that's not, you know, the... Uh, it's not uh, Muldoon. Muldoon. Oh, this is from the second movie. Yes, yes, where they're, uh, they shouldn't do that. Don't put a... These are fantastic creatures. Don't put a, you know, na Ooh, now we're warp speeding to another, to something else. This is the... <laughs> why don't we play together all the time? Why don't we... Just come on over. I'm we can do whatever you, you want to play. I'm we can play over. whatever. Okay, thank you. Do you have a piano at your house? Yeah. You do? Why, well, do you uh, play? No. I play. 
I would love for you to come play piano. I'm coming. Where do you live? You don't have to tell me. Whisper in my ear. Um, really? Okay. I know it uh, somewhat. I like it very much. I'm coming by. Okay. Okay. Th this is me saying... Oh. Years after the incident at our first sight. Yes, yes. And that's, ah, uh, we always go by helicopter. We, we listen to the concerns doctor. That's why Jurassic Park 7 was put on hold. Mm -hmm. We're watching the, we're watching the subtitles here on the, on the game. Some of these I actually say, and they can hear me saying them. Yeah. Yeah, you have concerns about the idea of opening their San Diego in the background. You have, like, you're a little worried about it. Yes, yes. Why wouldn't I be worried? Yes. It's worrisome. There they go again. They're still with their, with their. You, you still get to make the park with that original, original. What's it called? Entryway. You know, entry, you know, kiosk. Uh, something. It's more than a kiosk. It's a. What would you call that? It's a. It's sort of like know. a like a Kong Island. Yes. Kind of like. Well, I say in the first movie, I say because I just showed it to my kids. Believe it or not, I got a six-year-old and a four-year-old, two boys, and. I was a little, you know, intrepid. You know, I took a chance. I said, tell me if it gets scary. And the four-year-old was like, ah, 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 and I turned it off a couple of times. But he said, okay, more, more. And they finally loved it. But in that first one, I say, hey, what do you got in there, King Kong? You know, because, yes, the design was taken a bit from the those Kong movies, I believe. And there it is. Yeah. Are you doing that just for my purposes? Because what we're talking about? Yeah. You are a master of the game. You can control everything is at your fingertips. Yeah. I see Lily Halford says that. I'm in charge of operations. I must say it's absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're so you're playing this actually right now. You're doing what are you doing? Right now, I am the person who's going to be responsible for constructing what I imagine is the safest version of Jurassic Park. Well, safe safety first, yes. You know, he'll learn as you will, Lily. It comes with the uh, uh, territory. I'm always with the stuttering and the stammering. That's good. And they write that into my lines now. You know, I show up on the day to do these things, and they, they put a couple of uh, uhs and ums in them. You know. Okay. Uh, yeah, I saw it from the air. Looks even worse from the ground. Yeah, yeah, right. I've got a lot of gravitas from experience now. At least I try to in my voice. You think they would listen to you? You would think. But I also have a question. What? Why do you think they keep asking a mathematician back to talk about dinosaurs? Well, what, is, what is happening where they're like, all right, we need the math guy to tell us why we're wrong? Well, well, yeah, off the top of my head, I would say this, because I turned out to be right in the first one. True. Uh, the first one who was right, and I, with a whatever chaos, newfangled, trendy chaos, uh, uh, you know, you know, thing I was going by, paradigm I was going by, I was right. And I said, look, if you're asking us what could happen, what's going to happen, I have a little system where I can tell you, uh, you know, unintended consequences are going to possibly cause unexpected and surprising troubles. Mm -hmm. So so they asked me back, I suppose, to say, you know, even <laughs> though they know this. I'm a naysayer yeah. and I'm, you know, uh, uh you know, what could what could go wrong? You'd want a guy like me around, wouldn't you? I, you would think. Most people uh, prefer yes men, but... Well, but smart managers, smart leaders have people like, uh, like uh, you know, that character who can keep his own counsel, is self-possessed, and can tell the truth and say, you know, I think you're incorrect about this and that. Mm -hmm. Lily Halford says, oh, so you are now arranging like you guys can when you are at the helm like this. Mm -hmm. You, you're you're making making the park. Yes. So I have an objective. It's construct an operational response facility. So I'm just going to do what it tells me to do. Opera yeah. Operation. What, what? What do you mean? What do you mean? So these would be the rangers. There's like a helicopter that'll show up here, and then you have uh, park rangers, and they're going to be like, all right, you got to do, I don't know, take care of a dinosaur, or go check and see what's going on with the fences. I see. Or uh, you know, yes. make sure that everything in the park is running well. Yes. That kind of vibe. Right. And then you got to try to do it. Yeah. And so right now I need to do two things. I have to build a road connecting this. So we'll just like do that. This would be fantastic if you're really into this, you know, this uh, Jurassic uh, idea. Uh, it's kind of, must be, it's great, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see. Then, then you, you, you spend, you're spending money. It tells you how much these things are 
are costing you? Yes. Oh, so you have to be a money manager and, and you got a budget and you know we how have much do I put in? Six million bucks right now. Six million is what you've got to build the park. Yeah. Wow, I, I know nothing about it. This is the first time I'm hearing about it, but off the top of my head, isn't that way low? Doesn't seem like a lot. No, I would think to make a park like this, I mean, what's it cost to make a zoo these days? $200 million, $100 million? I don't know, I, I know nothing about it. What, what do you think? I think six million is not nearly enough. But I guess the whole point is we're supposed to be sort of salvaging an operation. Oh, I see. If you're just kind of, you know, refurbishing and fixing some potholes here and there and salvaging it. Who was the six million dollar man? That was, uh, oh, I'll get, we'll say it at the same time. Ready? One, two, three. We will. Lee Majors. Who knew that? Anybody? Yeah, Lee Majors. Lee Ma Majors was married to, re ready? One, two, three. Farrah Fawcett Majors. True or false? I met Farrah Fawcett. True. Uh, yeah, that is true. That is true. I was playing, our band was playing, and she came to the, we were playing at a cigar club at that point, and she was playing, and she was there. And uh, yeah, I met her, Farrah Fawcett. How about that? Okay, anyway, so he was the six, uh, so I dropped mental breadcrumbs. So six million dollar man, Lee Majors, six million dollars to build, that's what you've got to build the park with. Yes. Okay. And so then we're just, the, the tasks are simple, we just have to go around at the moment and just repair everything we can repair. Okay, we're janitors. Okay, why didn't we call the, the game Jurassic Janitor? I mean, it, sometimes it that's doesn't have the It doesn't have a grand ring. Yeah, yeah, no. Nobody wants to wear a bunch of keys on their belt, really, finally. No, no, you're better than that. I mean, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. If you gotta clean up after the dinosaurs, you gotta clean up after the dinosaurs. I guess so. <laughs> wow. Well, speaking of which, Remember that, that line about the poop I had in the first movie? I do. Yeah. Who, 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 does, who takes care of that? Uh, it doesn't show up in the game. There's one of these guys that we're sending around right now. Really? Is this, 100% is this guy. Oh, we've got, so not only can we build things, but we've got a staff that we uh, manage. Can de manage and can delegate. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. That's nice. And then we also have to manage things like power and how we're going to power buildings and fences and wow. all sorts of stuff. This is a very kind of uh, hands-on nuts and bolts kind of can do. I would call my friend John Mastro if I had any problems like this. I'd say, because ah, myself, it, well, what do you think? What would you guess? Am I handy around the, the, uh, the compound or, or, or not? I'm going to say you're more handy than you think you are. I like that answer. That's probably true. I have potential handiness in yes. me. Uh, yeah. but it's latent at this point. There's a lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of latent, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mostly call John and say, John, uh, the TV, I can't figure, the, 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 it's on the fritz, I'm, uh, it's frozen on the thing, you know. Or I say, I, I, where are the light bulbs, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Well, you were saying hands-on, you can do hands-on right now. We can be these guys. Hey, I like this, so they're in that Jeep and you can go off-roading. Are you controlling where to drive? Mm -hmm. Wow, watch that cactus, watch that cactus. You don't want to get, you know, jabbed. <laughs> and you can go around and when the dinosaurs show up, yeah. you can take time to sort of look at them or not shoot them, that would be bad. No, why do, why do you have that firearm? What is that? I think it's supposed to be a flare gun, I hope. That's what it's supposed to it be. It is, you just shot off a flare. To let everyone know that uh, the park is open, I guess. Wait, what, a flare gun? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if anyone from San Diego would see that, but maybe. This looks like in the middle of nowhere. I don't see anybody. Where's the closest town to this? Uh, where, I where's, think where's right San over Diego? There. Oh, nice. Did you just do that? Yeah. Hey, that's nice. I see. That's the that's San Diego. Yes. Where do the where do the you know we stole the Chargers? We're here in Los Angeles, so we 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 got the Chargers now. It used to be, you know, in San Diego. Does San Diego have a football team now? Um. That's a fantastic question. I, I don't should, think so. I should know. Is there anything that you can do to, to start building that stadium and, uh, and earmark uh, some of what might, might have been a paddock to the new, the new uh, team? I don't think six million is going to do that either. I, I don't, don't either. <laughs> I don't either. I have a feeling we're just, we got what we got. Six million. Uh, I don't know. These days, that might, maybe you can, you can stock the, uh, the uh, concession stand. Right. So... What we're going to try and do right now is, actually, I'm going I'm to change things up, and we're going to 
Demolish power. I like all these. Hey, yeah, you, you want to just take a look? You have to be. I, I want to see everything. Do you have to be a whiz on with the mouse and the computer like you are, or, or the good the good thing is you can just pause the game if you just want to look around. And so I like that. Let's yeah. look around. Let's look around. So there's the control room where you can see sort of everything that we're doing right now. We have our missions and our yes. park rating right now. We have zero rating because no one's at our park. Okay, well that's that that's good. Well, what do you mean? How's the what's the rating come from? Finally, when people come to the park from their personal, you know, how yeah. many five stars we get? And, mm -hmm. You know, oh, I see. And uh, they'll want all sorts of things like places to eat, places to go to the bathroom, you know, that kind of thing. What do you mean? Do you have you have something to do with that too? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Like places to eat and uh, play. Well, where are the places to eat, and what do they have? Well. Some of the things that we have right now. We're just we're just doing this just before lunch. Maybe I'm maybe that's my stomach talking, but uh, I'm interested in in uh, all the in the food court here. Even though this is entirely not what they're asking us to do, it is the most important thing. Well, so we can set up. I like my my, my grub. Uh, a place right outside the entrance. So when they land here and they come here, yes, we can create a restaurant of some sort. I like what you're doing. Hey, do people in real life do this? I mean, if you were uh, an architect or what's the name of a person who designs a park or a, a facility or- drafter, a drafter, maybe? Okay. I don't know. Yeah, so that's kind of what we're, the, the role we're taking yeah. on here. Uh, do, they probably do it something like that this these days with this, these kind of tools, right? I, boy, I hope it's more confusing than this, or else I'm coming for him. I'm taking that job. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Really? But you never wanted to do anything really besides this. This has been your your passion. Well, I was, I was a teacher before this. I'm glad I asked. What kind of teacher? I taught history. Really? What mm -hmm. kind of history, may I ask? Was it American history? Was it Roman history? Was it world history? What was it? So uh, I taught between 10th and 12th graders. Oh, I love that. That's yeah. a sweet, that's a volatile it and was. fertile uh, age. Oh, I'll bet. Mm -hmm. I'll bet you have many stories. And yeah. And, and, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, what, uh, and what did you teach them? Which, what part of history? Well, uh, it was sort of whatever they needed to learn in order to pass the 10th grade uh, tests that they could graduate. Oh, I see. And so I taught a lot of students who were behind in their education. Oh. And so my job was like, all right, how do I get you to graduate? Hey, and these days, what years did you teach it? May I ask? 2007 to 2010. So these days, I mean, it's different than when I was in 10th grade. These days, if I was interested in the Civil War, you know, don't you say, hey, watch Ken Burns' documentary and read, you can, read this yeah. book. You can kind of delve into not just the textbooks that, you know, used to come down the pike, but... Area, different areas of interest and, and that could be mm -hmm. very nourishing. Right? Yeah, yeah. And I think that's one of the, the best parts of being able to teach, especially now, yes. is being able to say like, hey, it isn't just this one textbook you have. It's like, yes. let's deep dive, let's get into it, let's find some things that are a little bit different. Isn't that interesting? And a case-by-case -case basis, I, I, I guess, too, tailored to the student that you found yourself yep. uh, interacting with. And likewise, I'm thinking about this game and really, if you're interested in any aspect of this, I mean, you know, park management, you could go online and find out all sorts of things about the realities of that in the real world and the, in the fantastical fantasy world, too. And dinosaurs, of course, mm -hmm. more than you ever could when I, I was, you know, c coming up. Yeah. We, we, you know, how much stuff about dinosaurs is there these days? A, a lot, and it's ever-changing as they learn more. I, I, you know, I get stuff on my phone, I get the news on my phone, and oftentimes I stop and I particularly take a look at, because of my, you know, area of familiarity and exposure, uh, a new dinosaur has been, in fact, talk about perceptual readiness, this very day, in 1990, I read this this morning, uh, Sue, something, I forget, I'm sorry, I forget her last name, Sue, a paleontologist or something mm -hmm. like that, or she was doing something, f discovered the most largest, most intact, I think, T-Rex uh, that they'd ever found. Up until that time, 50% of, of any one bone configuration was found. She found 90% of a T-Rex, which still is now, I think, in Chicago in some museum. In any case, it was a big day today in 1990. Not that long ago, really. Just a few years before we did the first movie, can you imagine? I, uh... She would be helpful for this game, because then we could use those bones to then synthesize dino DNA. 
Well, do you do that? So you, you oh yeah, you ah. So right now we're we're we can build like you know we decide to build a uh, amenity for someone like we can do drinks or shopping or steak. Yeah, we were talking about that. I like that. Well, you just saw I just saw a menu of some kind. Yeah. Do you want food, or drinks, or do you want gifts? What will we What will we sell here when you first walk in? Well, you know, first eat. You know, you know the old phrase for first eat, then we talk. Uh, so let, let's see. Let's see what we have to, to drink. We have to oh. s slake our thirst. Okay, let me go. Back. I see donuts. That's uh, where it starts. You, I guess they figured you know donuts right away. Uh, I'd know. upgrade the park. If it were me, I would upgrade the. I would upgrade this park with some green and healthy and uh, vegetarian eating, and I'd stay away from the fried and sugary. Uh, uh, treats. I know a lot of people like donuts. I like a donut myself, but I would go with some of their very, some very entertaining, uh, um, uh, healthy choices. So I would, I would, I would see if I could, um, you know, outfit my park with some, some good grub. Yeah. Uh, well, so let's start here, okay. and and we can, you know, we'll build this uh, restaurant. Oh. And the option that we have is, I guess, right now, steak. But we can outfit it. And make it look the way we want it to look. Steak. Well, there's beyond beyond burger sure. and beyond steak and beyond meats. You know, of some kinds. Yeah. <laughs> and speed it up if, a little. If and this is not off topic. If we're thinking about the health and overall health of the entire planet, and the well-being of all creatures on Earth, how, how can this not be a topic of interest? You know, what we're eating. You know, we're. You know, mm -hmm. we neither do we want to exploit the animals for our stupid entertainment, uh, you know, we, um, uh, we might, you know, view them in order to learn more about them and especially a cohabitation of this and that and uh, the safety of all and the well-being and freedom of all. But um, yes, figure out, what was I saying? How did I start that? <laughs> well, uh, oh, eat yeah. less meat is, is yes, the yes, answer. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. What the overall, you know, issues are, how we can well steward uh, 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 I believe that's the right word, you know, steward in the best effective manner, you know, our, our, uh, our, our role as, uh, you know, here on the, on the planet. Mm -hmm. Yes. So this is part of that. This park is part of that. And so, uh-oh, give me two minutes. We'll deal with the dinosaurs in two minutes. Okay, hey, we'll be with you in a second. We're still talking about drinks <laughs> and donuts. Anyway, enough of that, yes. Yeah, so you can kind of make it look whatever style you would like. So you can even have the big entrance. And Hey, I have strong feelings about that. Um, just a second. I mean, if I were really doing a park, I have uh, about certain fonts... You know, uh, you know, I, I have very strong feelings about it. I'm sure you would too if you designed. Is that? Do you get a chance to do that? And, uh, yeah, and, you can uh, change the signage a little bit. Uh, you can actually unlock over time different things that you can do and sell. But we have to research it first. Great! I love research. I love uh, development, and 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 finally, uh, you can even look at that color thing. I love to look at color things. Hey, you, you ever play this game? Uh, you know. I show you a bunch of, it's a great party game. I, there, we're seeing a bunch of colors here. Maybe you're seeing, I guess you're seeing it too. Um, I show you a uh, paint chip, all different shades of blue. And then I say, here are the different names that they've give, given them. You know, M Misty Marine, you know, Cobalt Dream, you know, and you know how they name those things. Yeah. And then you make up one and then everybody has to say, which one did you make up? I would say Cobalt Dream. You think I made that up? I have to believe maybe all of them. Well, so far, I have made up all of them. I was just, I'm not reading anything. I'm just pretending. I win. So I make, <laughs> you win. Okay. Amazing. Anyway, I do love a color chart, and I love color therapy and color. Uh, yeah, you, you can know. even change sort of the ground decorations on the outside. But Ian Malcolm, you know, seems to prefer the black. That's why in honor of uh, Malcolm, uh, the Malcolm uh, idea, I wore some something. Uh, ebony today. It fits. But, yeah, but I do like colors. So if I was designing the park, I might be very interested. But anyway, you keep playing the game, and I'll just uh, be your wing I, wing man. I will do that. Thank you. Thank you for having my back. So yeah, now right now we're researching, and we just researched gates so you can actually go in the enclosures because I guess they didn't think about that at first. What were the dinosaurs? They didn't think about putting gates in. Apparently not. Well, that seems to be a you know, <laughs> you, you would think before I start advising on the bigger issues, I think they have to, you know, you know, work out some of these more mundane things first. You know, yes, guys, yeah, you put some put some gates in the 
in the in, in the fences. So you can now. Who are all these? These are scientists that we can hire. Oh, I like this. Yeah. Hey, I love this casting. You know, in my world, we call it casting. And I, if I gave up acting, I would go into casting or into direct. I love it. I love to talk about actors, and I like hiring. As it turns out, I like to sort of. I'm just reading on my phone now some resumes for possible positions in. Something that interests me. Uh, so I have to otherwise assess who it is. Mm -hmm. Now, do you do you go by? They have pictures here. How much is book falls under the book by its cover? You know, uh, trap. You know. I feel like most of these people are qualified, but I gotta find you know someone maybe logistics, or I don't know maybe geneticists, or someone who knows the welfare of the dinosaurs. But also sometimes you can get them cheap. Because they, uh, they're like, I just want to help. And you're like, yeah, all right. And you can... Well, I don't know. With uh, human resources, I don't think you want to scrimp. That's not the place the you want to scrimp. I think spend a, 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 good, uh, a good dollar to get the best people available. But sometimes they're, oh, they're charging. You know, yes, you you, you He's you very altruistic. Be... And I want, you know what? He's going to come He's... join us. Okay. Confirm. Okay, this guy. All right. Very interesting. Yeah, and finally, but finally, you know, you go by, and this is a very minimal kind of resume, you know, that tells us not too much, and we see what they look like. I think we'd have to have them in. In this game, there's no, there's no, if I was doing this game, I think I'm going to suggest, when you, when you play the game after I get uh, through with it, you can not only do all this, but you have people go wherever they need to be, I guess thousands of people, they show up at your house, and you say, yes, I'm here for the interview. So you have actual people who you can interview. I want to see those people. I want to talk to them. Mm -hmm. As a manager, don't you want to do that? Yes. I would, well, I hope that someone did it for me, and I'm just sort of like the idea guy. All right. I mean, I, I, I'd hope that's the case. And I'm just like, they look good, and then someone actually does well, the Well, I'll job. play one of those characters. So if somebody buys the game, I may show up at your house if you say, you know, <laughs> send me... That guy, and I'll put on some of that those goatees and those certain frames that that guy was, and I'll pretend to be the new, you know, possibility for your geneticist, you know. So when the dinosaurs show up, they're gonna have needs, right? Just like we have needs, dinosaurs are gonna have needs. Yeah. And so, you know, you can go in and you can go in and like create for them. Yes. Like a little, I don't know, like a little pond to hang out in. Well, I'm sure that, the, the, yes, and when we do that, we have to know which dinosaurs are going to be there, I'm sure, mm -hmm. and consult our, our, our experts in one way or another. What does this species that we've, that may be a part invented, you know, hybrid that we've cooked up, probably misguidedly, Ian Malcolm would say, what do they need? Where do they need a pond? What's the perfect spot for you? That, 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 that makes us, that demands that we find out more about that particular species, not just how it looks and how entertaining it can be. And, you know, and we're certainly not going to pit them against each other for combat entertainment purposes. I mean, you no. could. You could. You could. I don't recommend it. Do you, 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 you like that kind I of mean, thing? I mean, I wouldn't do that, but you could do that in this game. One could if you were the type that, would, that wanted that, like the Grand Master in Thor, just wanted to make gladiatorial, you know, uh, contests, you know, just for the, the cheap entertainment, you know. Mm -hmm. It's, it's not the best idea in the world. So here they come. <gasps> oh my gosh. You are airlifting in by means of r r aerial. Oh, they're coming down on helicopters. These are dinosaurs who are going to be in the, in the enclosure. Yeah, they're the uh, dinosaurs that sort of have the uh, hard head up top. Oh, yeah. And what's this one called? The pa How do you say it? Pachylus, Pachycephalosaurus. Are you reading? The oh, yeah, I see. Pac. Pachycephalosaurus. Yes, I'm sure many people there know all about that. It's a good looking dinosaur. Yeah, I like that. You can go in, you can give him a name. Call this one. I like Jeff. that hat. Jeff. Did yeah. you call it Jeff? Oh, okay. yeah. You can give him uh, a name. Uh, nice. I, I like that hat. That That's like a, a toque. In, in Canada, don't they call those toques? Like a beanie? I think so. A kind of a woven a thing. It looks like he has a kind of a, you know, a kind of a. Toque, a kind of a you know yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a toboggan cap. A, what else? How else do you call that? But it's hard. I named this one Jesse. I figure we'll be in here together. Well, chatting, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. And then the thing that we probably should do is figure out what is going on with these guys, yeah. because we need to get them to a comfort level of eighty before we can move on. Ooh, 
They have to get to a comfort level of 80 percent. Well, that's a good idea. So that really requires you knowing about them and how they're comfortable, how much space they would ordinarily in the mm -hmm. wild have needed 65 million years ago. You know, this requires a lot of study, you know, so if, you're, to, if you're serious about this, you know. We're going to send these guys right here. Who? We're going to add just some of the rangers that we have. Oh, rangers. And we're going to send them right here to just set up a little position that they can watch these guys. I see. And then they'll go around yeah. and see what's up. And we'll learn about them, and we'll see how comfortable they are, what their health is like, uh, you know, what do they want from us. And then, eventually, when we click on them again, yes. this information will fill in, and we can figure out exactly what's going on with them. But we don't know anything yet, so you have to wait for the rangers to do their thing. Very interesting. Very interesting. And look at these vehicles. You like a vehicle like that? A little uh, Jeep? A little Jeep, yeah. A little open, tiny Jeep? We can actually can... get in it yeah. and then be the guys who scan them. We can sort Scan of, them? yeah. We can look we, and see what's we, going on with the. We'll, we'll give them the status check. Isn't that del del delicious? Look at that. We're we're the guys. We've got binoculars and we're scanning them and we're checking them. Fantastic. Yeah. Checking out Jesse right now. Yeah. Jesse, he, yes. Missing Jesse. ground leaf. Jesse Cox. Is that one named Jesse Cox? It is. He's a good guy. What other famous Jessies do you know? Ah, uh, man, there are many. Well, I'm thinking of Jesse James. You say yes. one. Uh, <laughs> uh, boy. Um, Jesse, 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 Jesse. I can't think of an idea. Not off there. Wait a minute. Jesse, Jesse, Jesse James, Jesse. I can't think of it. You have another Jesse up your sleeve? I'm, I'm thinking about it. I know there are some. There have to be. I have. There's your, so many of your us. Your last name is Cox. My, the person who does my makeup and hair for years is David Cox. That's Jesse Cox. This is David Cox right off screen there. Um, I'm thinking about Richard Cox. Dick Cox, believe it or not, Richard Cox was an actor with whom I appeared in Between the Lines. You, you look him up. You'll, you'll, you'll recognize uh, Richard Cox. Oh, wonderful. In any case, I digress with your name. <laughs> Do you know what my middle name is? Oh, come on. Haven't you done your Goldblum homework? Jeff. What's happening? Jeffrey was my original name. Jeffrey starts with an L. Lewis. Lewis? Yes. Uh, no, no. That's my middle name. I figured it would be worth a shot. Really? Yeah. Oh, you're, Je you're Jesse Lewis Cox, and I'm Jeffrey Lynn. I'm Jeffrey Lynn. Ooh, Goldblum. very close. Yeah, yeah, you were close. Yeah. So it looks like... Yeah. They love this area. We put in some plants. What do you mean they love this area? Oh, they, 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 oh, because we scanned them and, and larger carvers too. Which are, and then I'm talking with Lily. Do you know who plays Lily in the game? I do not. No. I knew at the time. I think, oh, yeah, I've seen what a T Rex can do. My therapist and I talk about it, says I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we know something about Dr. Ian Malcolm. You know, there are things in the, that these smart people who have written my lines in these games. With the things they get into that are never addressed in the movies. I don't think I ever referred to in any of the movies so far that I go to therapy, that I enjoy my therapy, you know. It's the and, world building, yeah. It's great. Yeah, yeah, it's great. And since, of course, Ian Malcolm went through what he did in the first movie, yes, I can well imagine if I didn't have a therapist before that, I'll bet I, uh, you know, have had a therapist <laughs> since. You're you know, right? Mm -hmm. What a horrifying experience. How many of us go through life and death, really face death, the, the jaws of death, so closely like that? I, I, when it comes to dinosaurs, probably like... Uh... Nobody. No, none of us. But some people have been, you know... You, you, know, know, with... you saw that movie. You saw that movie, Grizzly Man. The guy got eaten by a bear, finally. You saw that movie. I liked it, uh, you know. I, I, I'm trying to think if there's anyone. I imagine people who hang out with lions or swim with sharks. It's Listen to this. That close. I'll tell you a story. The, you know, I, I, all along we've been trying to figure out how to, what, what happens in our body? The good actor says, what, was really, what would really happen to me if I was in proximity with, confronted with some dangerous creature like that? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, we did our best, da, 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 da. but somebody told me a story that, some, that a friend of hers, this is a lady who had a friend who had a pet 
one of these big cats, like a panther or something. And she went over in the apartment. There was the panther in the apartment. And uh, she said, no, 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 he's okay. He's, a, he's okay. And, and they got close, and my friend started to get comfortable. And then he, the, the friend had a glass of wine or something like that. And the panther was there, and the panther was kind of like, you know, taking the wine or something. And she went, oh, no, 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 that's, that's my wine, like that. It's like that. The panther, having already kind of decided that was in, of interest to them, went like this in a moment. Could, you, you, so fast you couldn't see it. Went quick and went, put, get your hand off that thing. It's mine with a little bit of claw. And she just felt that. When the panther did that, tears popped out of her eyes horizontally like that. That's what your body does. A thing like that when you're in proximity. Can you, so can you imagine if you, you came upon a T-Rex? You don't even know what would happen to you. Neither do I. But tears, and you can't act this, go bing! Go like that. That's one of the things that ha actually happens to you. You know. <laughs> I would, uh, yeah, I don't, I, anything I know about a T-Rex, I imagine I would fall back on my Jurassic Park 1 knowledge and just assume, like, all right, don't move. You're right. If they're right about that, I guess <laughs> right, yeah. Sam Neill is always right about it. He knows, he knows a, a much. Don't move. Ian, freeze. Right. I would do that thing. I would sacrifice myself to, so that the kids were safe. Hmm. Come on, dinosaur, get me. Get me instead of the kids. If you're going to kill somebody, kill me. Pick on somebody your own size, not the kids. That's what I would say. I, would, uh, I don't know that I'd be even be able to, to talk. Yeah. I'd be... Well, that's the thing. We don't know, and probably we wouldn't. And neither would I, big shot that I pretend to be. So I put these compies in here. I don't know that I've done this correctly. Oh, I the figured I Yeah. The compies, yeah. They're so tiny. I figured I'd try something. Tiny but deadly. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then we're going to feed them. What do, you, what do you feed a compie? Well, I imagine just a lot of meat. Meat? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess they, they're, they're meat eaters, yeah. And so that'll pop up and... Do we have anything? But little, little. Aren't there? Hey, how about some of that beef jerky that, that you know you can even get on a plane these days? Here, you know. Oh no, I think I've done a ter. I made a terrible mistake. What'd you do? You? Well, yes. What'd you do? So the dinosaurs. I've made this enclosure. Oh, never mind. We're good. Oh god. Thought I made a tactical error there. That's but. the kind of adventure and high intensity experience that you could have. All right, I don't have the. I, I they want me to take a T Rex right now. I don't know that I have it in me. I don't think I can. I'm hoping. What do you mean? You take? What do you mean take? You, they want you to what? Well, while we deal with these guys. Yeah. I'm gonna oh, you've got your hands full with the compies. Don't know. You're right. Don't do anything with a. I like this amphitheater. I like. I like this sort of you know broken, ancient amphitheater. Yeah. You know Roman Colosseum ruins, kind of idea, that they have there. Right, I'm gonna try my hardest to create. A place that T-Rex would want to hang out. Oh boy, you're ambitious. Uh, this is dangerous. That, that fence looks low to me, uh, 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 Jess. Uh, off the top of my head. T-Rex is already could, could hop over that, could hurtle over that with a, a hop, skip, and a jump. Well, that's why I gotta keep him happy, right? <laughs> happy like, hey, here's a fence, but leave, please feel free to leave anytime you want. Yeah. That kind of happy? Just like really? You know? I'm I'm hey, mutinying. You're you're the wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've lost your mind. <laughs> Give him some water. I'm taking over this, <laughs> this uh, park management. Oh yeah, no, we gotta have a higher fence than that, man. Well, I gotta check and see if I can keep this fence at least a little bit electrocuted. So that's a little bit electrocuted. Just like a tiny bit. But. But frankly, I mean, not only as we know you can't control them, and the electricity can go out if there's a storm, as we know, but da 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 da. But I think we want to be humane. Do we really want to use electrified fences with even the the massive T Rex? Uh, let's not have a T Rex in our park at all. I say we 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 we. I would agree. They're still sending them to us. Who's they? Let me talk to these they. Can we get on the phone and talk to these? I think that's the whole point. Is you tried to, and they were like, Nah, we're sending T Rex. Really. Who are these? We, we have to, I got to go over and find out who's at the center of this and what they're up to. That's what Ian Malcolm would do. I got to infiltrate. I got to be a mole in the very heart of this bad idea, of these bad ideas and 
talk to the person who's coming up with. Oh I mean, my it's, gosh. it's already happening. Do I? Do I? My eyes deceive me, or are you helicoptering in a T Rex? Yep. By air. My God in heaven. Oh my God. Just, I'm ready for that. Oh, there's another one. Oh God. Oh God. We're. Oh, poor things. Uh, first of all, I think it's their. This this reduces their dignity. Uh, just I mean, this right here alone does. Yeah. The mighty T Rex. Yeah, I don't like the whole idea of just. Uh, and are those helicopters really strong enough to? to that that that. That's does, a great question, actually. That beggars logic. Uh, if I'm saying it right, yeah, I I, I don't know. That helicopter. I wouldn't want to be driving that helicopter. And I think we're doing them a disservice, dignity-wise. Well, there they go. Now they're roaming around. Yeah, and we'll give them a sec to sort of figure out what they want to do. Uh-oh, dinosaur threat! Uh-oh, there's something going on. What? What? This is exciting. Very, very exciting. Oh, he's missing open space. I'm getting more excited just watching you do this than on any of those movies. Why? Why is that? I guess you're more interactive. It's more interactive. Yeah, you're a part of it. You're, I am the guy who's the idiot trying to make a park. Who would you be? If you were going to be one of the characters in the first movie. The first movie? Yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. John Hammond, you would have been a great John Hammond. I was going to say John Hammond. Yeah, fantastic. Because ultimately, he was a good guy, loved his grandchildren. Yeah. He just had this. He kept looking at that amber thing and kept saying, hey, hey, he had a Scottish. He was Scottish, wasn't he? Mm-hmm. Richard Adden, the great Richard Attenborough, you know. Amazing actor, I, yeah. you know, I have always wanted a, a dreamed of a park with a, a, I, a, a, when I started I, with a flea circus, I had the a little fleas and the other fleas. And now, and Laura Dern says, yeah, but John, you, you can't think your way out of this one. You have to feel, feel your way out of this one. What would you say to her? I was trying. I was about to do an accent, but it was going to come out Go Irish. Ahead. It was going to be. It was going to sound like a Lucky Charms guy, and that's not. That would do, no, that's so, Irish. That's I know Irish. that would be so disrespectful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't, no, no, we don't want to. I don't want. Yeah, anybody. but I. But it's like. Um, yeah. Yeah. Now, now I really want to be like. I don't even know. I don't know how would I. What is the the accents like? Lord. Laura Dern. Laura Dern. Laura Dern. With a hootman, hootman, and a hootman. Hootma. Laura Dern. Hey. Uh, yeah, something like that. We're, we're bad. It's yeah. way off. Take us to acting jail immediately. <laughs> Both of us. We share the same cell. <laughs> mm, mm. So I think we need to research actual live food. Ooh. Well, what do you mean? Well, the T-Rex needs to eat uh, Goats. Goats. Yeah. Oh, boy. In that first movie, they're giving him a live goat. Oh, boy. And, yeah. and Le- Lex, Ariana Richards, says... He's, he's eating the goat? He's going to eat the goat? And she says, no, I'm a vegetarian. I'm a vegetarian. I don't eat, I don't eat. Okay. Yeah, so what are we going to, how can we feed the? Well, we're going to research that. Apparently, we needed the T-Rex to be here so we could learn how to feed them, I guess is the plan. Boy, oh boy, really? We really don't know that much. We're kind of bad at this. Okay. And so in theory, somewhere... I'm making up t-shirts for everybody that says, I'm kind of bad at this. Mm-hmm. I think that'll be... That'll, that'll be good. Maybe we need to just be smart about this. And instead of sending another ranger unit, just make a, one specifically for these guys. Okay, a ranger unit just to overlook, to oversee the T-Rex paddock. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't want to work there. Then you would, then you'd be that guy who's like, yeah, I look after the T Rex. Yeah. And I mean, like, it's well, it's pretty that's, cool. That's Chris Pratt who finally tames the, or you know, gets a makes a relationship with the Velociraptors. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I think the Rangers at that level, they're always the first to go. Yeah. Oh I, yeah. No, they're ah, the shooter, shooter. You know, because he's got the Ranger, and the Ranger is going like that. You know. <laughs> that. Uh, We'll see if we can live through this. I'm sending them into the paddock with the T-Rex. Uh-huh. Who, who, the rangers? Yeah. Oh, boy. You should be fine. Who did, did we did we hire any specific rangers? <laughs> did uh, we tell them that, that was going to be part of the job? This guy is, in fact, 
Not he has not been told which paddock. Oh, is. for heaven's sakes! And he's got that open vehicle. He's in a convertible of sorts, convertible Jeep. Well, I think they can hide out in this building and kind of get information. That looks like the that looks like the outhouse that the the, the guy got <laughs> snatched off of in the original thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that that T Rex would stomp. That would, would collapse that in a second. All right, let me let me see if I can take control and okay. see if I can do this thing. There you go. Just all right. We got live bait feeders. Ooh. Uh oh. Wow, you're moving now. Binoculars. It's always good to have binoculars. All right, I this. wish I had binoculars. I can't find the binoculars that I think are in my house. Because often I'd like to see, I'd like to see what's going on on that construction site way over there. You know, <laughs> I like to snoop here or there. All right, I'm gonna try and get these guys out of here and let them do their thing. Cause oh, oh run! My, oh, run! Watch out! Watch out! He backed up. He backed up. He's fine. I think. No. <laughs> Oh, T-Rex, he's, he's lying down tired. like my dog, Woody. I don't think they do that. How'd you get him to lie down and just kind of go, I'm waiting for your next instruction? That was the, Pris uh, the Chris Pratt guy. That was his like whole thing. <laughs> I guess. That's who we need to hire. Wow. He went in there and he was doing his thing and then yeah. we're gonna, for maximum entertainment, right in the middle, that's where we're gonna stick the goats. Oh, it's a goat again? Oh, and what do you mean maximum entertainment? You mean- All the people are gonna watch. The dinosaurs feed. Welcome to Jurassic Park San Diego. Oh, what a horrible. I, oh, now, and then the lights are going on. These are like VIP boxes or something. Mm -hmm. As Ian Malcolm, I'm highly opposed to this. I'm, oh, this is making me sick to my stomach. Oh, this is me just getting actually acquainted with the whole thing. Jurassic Park San Diego increased comfort to 90% of the following. Oh, compi oh the compies and the T-Rex, great. Yeah, I made some changes to the compie enclosure here. Really? Just because they were freaking out. They were not pleased with how small it was. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. How bit large is it? Well, how many compies, may I ask, have you designed your compi thing to c contain? How many compies are in there? Well, there's seven in there. I'm not sure how much, uh, how big it should be. I honestly don't know. So I figured right. this was... Who would know? Who do we hire to know? We, could, we should hire one of these folks to know. Somebody should know something about that. I mean, we're, we're just kind of, uh, we're, we're going off half, half coxed. Yeah. Uh, is this where, is this where I look to camera? Is this where do it. <laughs> we're we're kind of going off half just coxed uh, because we don't know anything about compies. We've got seven. Are they seven family members? Are they pals? Would they rather be going in in groups of two hundred? I don't know. <laughs> They're in group of seven right now. That's the best we can do for them. Ay, ay, ay. Where did they live? 65 million years ago. Is that, am I correct there? That's kind of the, uh, wh wh where did they live? What was their natural habitat? Well, if you click on one, you can kind of see like what they like. And they, you know, they wanted sand and open space. That's, that's it? Well, so does, I know a guy who plays golf and uh, <laughs> I think you could describe him the same way, sand and open space. That's kind of what they, I've asked this question, like how do these guys know this is what they want? That's a good question, yes, and what's the answer? I would imagine it's genetics, but how do we know that that's, that they want this type of ground clutter? Like why do we know that? <sighs> yes, and do we have somebody on the team, on our team that we've chosen or One hired? of these scientists for sure. Uh, yeah. How are they good? How are they good? Well, they should be working with us. We shouldn't be making any decisions without them, should we? I, I would think so, but we have decided to forego any other real qualifications and just started building. And that's where we're at. Jess. <laughs> and now we're opening Jurassic Park. This is us right now. Open the park. You're headed for trouble. <laughs> okay, let's see. Well, wait a minute. So compies, okay, well, yes. No, how do, how do you were saying, how do they, how do we know they like those little bits of scrub and da 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 da, -da? That looks like, like one of those Lionel train, you know, sets that I used to have. And they used to give you little, little bushes and little shrubs and little trees, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, is this uh, that? Just because like, oh, give them, a, give them some trees and to put in. I don't know. I guess we'll have to, I mean, I, I keep thinking about, you know, what people need and people need this bathroom, right? So. Yes, but co compies don't, dinosaurs don't need a facility. But they only have so much space. So after a while. Well, that's the question. Yes, how do they li eliminate? Well, how do particular dinosaurs and where and where do they want to eliminate? And then what happens to yeah. that? Yes, all good questions. No, this is a vast, vast, uh, you'd need a whole storehouse of knowledge to even begin this, but I don't know. For fun, we're putting it together, right? Right. 
That's okay. the idea. Well, that's kind of what John Hammond did in the beginning. I mean, he seemed to have been a little more, you know, although his his main his main computer guy was uh, Dennis Nedry. True. And I don't know how they failed to vet him properly, but that wasn't the right guy. Much like me, they probably thought he was the best because they saw a bunch of numbers that said, like, he's very good at logistics. They're like, yeah. buy. He's cheap, yeah. buy. Somebody should have looked into it a little bit more than that. And Sam Jackson seemed to be very good. Although smoking indoors the way he was, uh, I don't know. That seems ill-advised in any park, you know. I wouldn't, uh, I, I wouldn't, uh, Sam looked good smoking, but. Uh, but yeah, then he wouldn't get to say like a cool line, like hold on to your butts, which is a great line. Hold on to your butts, it's pretty good. Do you ever find yourself saying that in real life? Every time I play anything. Really? Yes. I'm glad I asked, that's funny. Mm -hmm. You do? All the time. Hold on to your butts. Are there any lines, other lines from Jurassic Park that you have incorporated into your daily, peppered into your daily speech? Any lines of mine? You're are you gonna to... Are you gonna make me say, uh, life uh, finds a way? I yeah. like that. Do you, you, you use that? You have to use the, oh, every time you screw up anything, it's there, it's always there for you. To yeah. come for you and let you know that. Yeah, but, wait a minute, I didn't up. think that was applicable when things were going bad, when things got screwed up. I thought that you, in the middle of New York City, when you saw a little daisy coming out of the concrete, you True. say, ah, look, life uh, uh, fi finds a way, you know, or. But maybe if you're in New York, the daisy is a problem because it is, that's, you know, the concrete has crumbled. Yeah, the right. daisies found a way up. Well, around here, around these parts, you know, those ficus trees or what are they? What are Whoa, the speaking of life finds a way, what is happening? What? You a storm, a storm is happening right now. Oh, as usual. Well, chaos theory. Chaos theory, of course, and now with climate change and extreme weather, I don't know if they've built it into this game, but more than in 1993, I think we're marching headlong and more quickly than we thought uh, sorry to tell you, if you haven't heard, into more extreme surprises, weather-wise and challenges planet-wise. So that must be part of the current, if this is supposed to be now, this is supposed to be 2000 and whenever we buy it, right? Uh, well, I guess it's after the second, maybe 1997. Oh, right, of course, we're back in San Diego with this one, of course, mm -hmm. that's right. Oh, so we are a little period. Hey, when you play this game, do you have to, should we be wearing things that were only right for 1997? I feel like this, we're in universal outfits. This is, this is fine. You're timeless. You're <laughs> absolutely you. timeless. Thank you. Yes. Hey, I think, didn't, didn't Dennis Nedry have a kind of Hawaiian, sure, was that Dodgson? Dodgson had a, that Hawaii. No, but they both did. They both. Uh, he, he, here's the thing is I have a whole thing back there. I brought a Nedry, bam. I brought a John Hammond, bam. I got it all back there. Whatever they wanted, I was like, I'm ready. Really? Oh, yeah. What, you mean a, 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 a bam, a clo clothes? Like a whole bunch of wardrobe, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Well, what's your John Hammond look like? Do you have a white a leisure white, suit? A really? white with the hat. Oh, yes. I was ready. I was prepared. You don't have a Neil Malcolm uh, black? Uh... I, I mean, I do have a black shirt back there, yes. Okay. So you've got queued up the T-Rex chasing this little, poor little goat. Yes. And I'm just asking you now, are, can, we can see if you continue this. Oh, my God, you can really you see wanna... it from, uh-oh, uh uh-oh, uh that's it. That's it. Gruesome. Mm -hmm. Did you see that? If you buy this game, if you have a taste for that kind of thing, you can see... <laughs> He just swallowed that goat whole. Yep. Ay, 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 ay. But that's nature though, right? Like. Well, yes, that is, that is nature. He's doing what he does. Big fish eating little fish. What yeah. movie is that from? Yeah, nature. Report. Big yeah. fish eating little fish. Something, something, something. Big fish eating little fish? Yes. Yeah, I forget, that's from something. Somebody will know, that's a part of a line from some movie. Hey, you were saying too, mm -hmm. about these things that are around us, these, you know, I think, um, ersatz, uh, faux, trompe l'oeil, if that's the word, you know, I don't think these are real, but they've uh, set this up as a nice set, but that's called a Joshua tree? S it's back here somewhere, I can't see much. I mean, I There's know the a place. giant I cactus the in the way. Place. I know the place, yeah, Joshua tree, but are you saying that this, that species, that, that well-known, most well-known of all, the granddaddy of all cacti it's is- somewhere, yes. Is called a-, a No, a, not a, a well, this like a, right here isn't. Oh, that's not a Joshua tree? No, this is just a cactus that's like uh, not real. Well, what are you calling Joshua tree? One of the ones behind it. 
I can't see anymore because I'm, but it's like behind it. Well, I can see that when I have something like that. Am I my... crazy? No. Help me out. Help me out here. Are there, is there yeah, a species called up. Joshua tree? Yeah. So that's right a Joshua it. tree. I see. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Hey, now I was also going to tell you about my beverage here and how life finds a way. What do you see? What do you see in that beverage right there? Uh, it looks like a fly. No, it's not a fly. I think it's what a... Is, what is it? Jeff Flint, it's a it's a, a living creature, and it's still trying to... Poor thing. Life? Yeah, wait a minute. Yeah. Uh, and life will away. find a way. Now, I'd like to get him out of there without, without um, harming him in any way. I tell... Here we go. There it is. Can you get a can you can can you see that? There. What is it? What is that species? And should we put him in the like a gnat or something? If I put him in the compy cage, we can't do it. Doesn't work that way. They would bite your finger off. Who would? Oh, the compies. To get that thing, they yeah. would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who'd well, you think? Would... But we can't include this in the park just by putting it on the screen. Oh, I think he's. I mean, if you put it on the screen, it will forever be wherever we go. What It'll be a part of the team. What species is that? Can you see that? Is it an ant? It's not an ant exactly. It's like a gnat, like a little tiny gnat. It's like a gnat. Yeah, he saw uh, the kombucha and he now, was like, now oh what's my your, God. Now what's your, what, what do you think at home and what do you think here? Would you, if you found that in your drink, yes. does it, do you now have to throw the whole drink away? You would? Really? You don't think I can, well in this day and age of microbe uh, uh, paranoia, uh, yeah, he may have pooped in the drink already, right? Okay, well, maybe I should ask for a new drink. But some people do that. You know, how about those people who go into restaurants and they put a bug, they take a what? In Victor Victoria, he took a bug out of, to get a free lunch. They take a bug out and they put it in the salad and they say, hey, excuse me, waiter, I've got a bug in my salad. And then they don't have to pay for it. Well, I mean, I think that's, uh, you know, people who are working their butt off to serve you, you know, I think that's rude. Those people, they're doing their job. It is, it is rude. You shouldn't try to fool anybody like that. No. This guy is still crawling around. I'm going to place him on, on one of these uh, Joshua Tree things here. Good luck, Mr. Nat. I hope you do okay. There we go. Okay. And now perhaps I'll ask for a garçon. Garçon, Jeff Flint. Uh, might I have a... This is the great Jeff Flint, ladies and gentlemen. Look. Look, there he is. He's worked on many movies. Look at that. Okay. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jeff. Okay. Go. We managed to, uh, we had a little thing, we are at one star-ish. That's terrible. Who, 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 who voted us one, not even one star, less than one star, a half a star? Probably the, these people walking around. Oh, they, they did? No. Yeah. Well, we, but, but how do you get a star? You get a rating from somebody who's played the game, right? Well, every so often that, uh, you know, when people come to the park, they're going to give us a rating. Well, wait a minute. Is that a rating for the park or a rating for the game? Rating for the park. Oh, well, you want to know Ian Malcolm's rating for the park? I'm not sure I do. Minus 10 stars, minus 100 stars. You could close it down immediately. That's Ian Malcolm. I'm just, I just speak for him. Right. But putting it together is a fun, fun, fun. I give it 10 gold blooms out of a possible 10 gold blooms. Jurassic World Evolution Due, or... Dos, or two, I guess two, is the, that's all I know. Ein zwei, zwei. Jurassic World Evolution zwei is, 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 is two. It's all right. Do you know two in any other language? Uh, I mean, yeah, no, you got all the ones I know. Get, get the two. I think the word will go out. <laughs> Let the word go out. In the comments, leave the number two in your language. Well... Oh, thank you. Clean as a whistle. Thank you, Jeff Flint. Mm, mm, totally bug free. Totally, totally free. Here's to your, here's to your park and to your creativity and to your stewardship of a, of a healthy planet to come. Thank you. I'm a uh, boy. I'm trying my hardest to get to get people to come to this park. You're Boyd, like Boyd up B O O O. Like boy, Boyd, like bo Boyd. Did you say that? Did no, you say like, like oh boy. Oh. You know, like, oh, boy. Oh, like, oh, boy. I'm yeah. a Boyd. No. You, B -O -I -D, or B -O -Y -D, B-O-Y-D? B-O-Y-D? Well, how do you spell, if I was saying, I'm, 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 I'm getting Boyd, Boyd. I'm buoyed up from this experience. Buoyed? I mean, yes, I'm buoyed up. I don't know if you'd say it like that. A buoy, a Jim, Jim buoy knife, a Bowie knife. No. And, of course, Stephen Boyd. Do you remember Stephen Boyd? Sure. What, who, what part 
Did you most enjoy Stephen Boyd in? I, what do you mean? Marsalis in Ben Hur. Yes, he was Stephen. He, that's Stephen Boyd. Okay. But, but Ira, here's what I recommend: Stephen Boyd, who stars in The Oscar, a movie called The Oscar, fantastic. Frankie Fane. Frankie Fane. Okay. But you, I thought you were saying I'm Boyd by I'm Boyd by all these things. But no. But you were saying, oh, I'm oh Boyd by all this. Yeah. I yeah. never heard it used that way. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. Meaning I'm enthusiastic. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh boy. Or oh boy. A little bit like ironic too, because I'm I'm watching my park and I, you know, money's increasing, people are comfortable. However, it's not making me as much money as I would like to be making. You mean, are you taking in money? I thought you were just spending that six million so far. Do you have any account of money you're taking in from spectators yet? Yes. You so, do? Yes. How's it doing? Uh, we're making a thousand dollars a day. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> it's not. That, hence the oh boy. Doesn't the Shake Shack at uh, the corner of uh, <laughs> make more than that? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh boy, that's yeah. why you were saying, oh boy. Oh boy. I mean, that's because there are currently 94 people at the park. Well, how do we get more people in the park to be eaten immediately? Because well, the park is in horrible shape so far. <laughs> we know nothing about what the animals want. This park is not ready for people. I, I think it's ready for people. I think you that. Do? Oh, we, yeah. We've, we're having our first fight. We disagree. They're already here. Okay, well. We have to start making money. We only have $3 million left. We have to start making money. Three million. We've we've used half of our. Budget. Yes, uh, we're gonna build a small, like a small hotel, right next to the compies. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is as people are already in. We're building the hotel. Right. Uh, I mean, uh, okay. We got to keep them here. They're already at 122 guests. We're already at 100. We're almost at two thousand dollars. Now, how do you know? Now, who's making up that you have all those guests? Are those are those people who are actually? No, that that's not. Yeah, these that are these people right here walking around. But how do you get us. that? Can we just make up, hey, I think a million people have already seen us. No, can you make that up or are you just making up anything? No, it's right here. It just says 122. Well, who who, who, who delivered that to us? This helicopter right here. You know, I don't mean literally del de delivered. Oh, oh, I mean, who right? delivered us the number? Who, who decided that 122 people? Have One of the many people who works for us. We are, we are $3 million rich. We're very important people. $3 million, you mean, wait, I thought we said that $6 million, our budget no, was- No, we, we, spent, we spent a lot of money. Okay, and we only have $3 million left. Right. To finish the park. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty finished. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd say that look says everything. Okay. It's all right, well, this is fine. Well, we had a hotel coming, I'm gonna just speed it up a little bit. Okay. And this beautiful hotel will just... Hey, I like what you're doing. You're a master with this mouse. When did you start to use equipment like this that, that you're so fluent and eloquent? Yeah, when I was... Uh... Where, do, is there anything on the game where we can get, where we can talk to each other? Other game, game people who go, hey, you know, here's what you just said and here's what I want, want to say about that. Can't we talk to each other, us gamers, or what happens? How do we get together and play together? Well, if you want to play together, I imagine you could get on one of the many, like, chat things that exist on the internet and just talk. I and see. you could each build your parks and yell at each oh. other. We could do it together, yeah. really? Yeah. Do you like to do stuff like that? Do you of course. That? That's the most fun, is, is playing with yeah. others. Right, right, right. And, of course, they have gamers, because I know, because I did this episode, get game, gamers get together and play in arenas where people watch them. Yes. What do you think about that? I think it's incredible. I can't believe that's a thing that exists. Yes, yes. It's wild. It sounds like activity on another planet or something, but it goes on here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would you play this? And would you like to play this in a grand, grand arena with sixty thousand people watching? And you, like, what's he going to do next? How, what's he going? How's he going to build this park next? What would you imagine would be the competitive version of this? Oh. Right. Because you'd have to well, you'd have to compete with someone for right. it. Well, I suppose you get points. The he who wins, she who wins, is is she who gets the most guests, makes the most money from the park, and has no uh, uh, injuries or bad things happen to people mm -hmm. or or bad things happen to the animals. Everybody's happy, everybody's safe, and you're making a lot of money. Yeah. That would be the the winner, right? You would think. 
Yeah. You, I, I mean, yeah, you would think so. Well, I would I would think. Uh, yes, I would think. I just thought, and that's what I think. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe it's like the first one to make the coolest dinosaur. Oh, oh I see. Right, or, yes, yes. There could be many categories, like in the, you know, you know, Miss Congeniality, you know, right. like in all the concession, you know, so there's many categories of winner. Mm -hmm. Maybe everybody's a winner in Jurassic Park. That's what, that's what my, that's what my, uh, catch, <laughs> that's what I say on the poster. Everybody's a winner. In Jurassic World, evolution, de, 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 dos, de, un, de, continue that in French, trois, I don't know what four is. Quatre, quatre, quatre. Cat. 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 Is that what you're saying? You're saying cat, but with like a cot. Cat. 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 Perfect. Sank. Sank. Six. Six. Set. Set. Quit. Quit. Neuf. Neuf. Dix. Dix. Fantastic. It's the cat that was the problem. Yeah, yeah. You got stuck on the uh, cat. Oh, but we did it. What did we do? We might not. I might have gotten stuck on the cat, but yeah. Jurassic Park San Diego. Has two incoming. Oh no. Okay. We gotta. We gotta do something about this. What's happening? Dinosaurs are coming. Afraid to tell. We have got two parasaurolophuses. Parasaurolophuses. Is that the kind that, that always uses the umbrella to, to keep out of the sun? Yes, I've heard of the long extinct, long long thought extinct para parasaurolophus. Oh, the bumper shootosaurus. The parapluiosaurus. Yeah. Oh, fearsome. What they do with that uh, brawly, that bumper shoot, is fearsome. They put it up, they put it down, they poke <laughs> you with it. And uh, that's what's about to happen. They're about to come here. They're Paris, coming here? They're going to fly in like Mary Poppins. And We're land. just cogs in the wheel. Things are happening around us and from, a, from a, a, some, someone higher up than I, that we just have to manage. And, mm -hmm. and you know, we're like plate spinners. You ever see those those acts that uh, used to be on the Ed Sullivan? Uh, you don't see them around <laughs> anymore. <laughs> and the big thing was, on, you know, who's going to let, are they going to let that one plate go on and fall before you get back to it and keep it spinning? I don't know. I mean, that's kind of where we're at. It's, are of, we going to... That's one of the thrills of the game, yeah. ...fail these dinosaurs? Well, we can't. We can't fail the dinosaurs. We can't fail the people. To protect. Equally important, I say, no species has a greater right to safety and liberty than any other, including us asset report. folks who can be doing some horrible things, gosh. Like opening a park that well, is woefully unprepared. Yes, yes. Just to make a few bucks. Yes. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like we've done that. <laughs> yes, continuing, <laughs> continuing the... The mess. Well, okay. well, in 58, I mean, I'm going to speed it up. In oh. less than 58 seconds, a few giant, I think giant You don't even know what these dinosaurs are, do you? Probably like a uh How'd you get this job? Who, who hired you? Well, what did your resume say? In Gen, I was, uh, I was working for them, and uh, Dr. Wu was like, will you do this? And I was like, yeah, I'll do this. And he was like, okay, shh, I'm evil. Spoilers, by the way. Oh, about Dr. Wu? Well, maybe... Or maybe not. Well, I know a little something about a thing or two about a thing or two. Um, Wu may have a multifaceted, mm, hidden aspects to his character. Are we getting more BD... I can't ask you that. I can't... I was going to say, we get more BD Wong? Because I'm in. I love BD Wong. Really? Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know what I can say. I should say less than I... <laughs> than I... <laughs> Somewhere someone's freaking out. Like, yeah. don't... Oh, okay. I say nothing. I hear nothing. Who said that? In what series? I know nothing. I see nothing. Uh, it is yeah, the guy. And he's a... Schultz. Schultz. What series? What's the name of the series? Character was named Schultz. John Banner, I believe, is the actor who played it, who played Schultz. I know nothing. I Is it uh, Hogan's Heroes? Hogan's Heroes is exactly right. Which character said, Hogan, Hogan. Uh, is, boy. Played is it... by Vernick. Kempler. Is it Clink? Clink, that, Colonel yes. Clink, yes. Yes. Who does a better imitation of Colonel Clink? Jeff Goldblum or Conan O'Brien? <laughs> I mean, Conan's pretty good with his, like, what are you doing? This is my voice. He's very good. The answer is, the correct answer is Conan O'Brien. <laughs> oh, man. I don't, where do you put 
two dinosaurs like this, it can be rough. Well, let's see. So what? What? What is this? Uh, uh, para para. So they are uh, very cool looking, kind of like. Uh, are they meat eaters or uh, no, veggie? Veggie, sorry. They're veggie source. Okay, so we're right near the beach. Oh yeah, yeah. Hey, are any marine uh, creatures going to come up? You would have to imagine, yes. I know, because there are many in this game. Are you mm -hmm. aware? Have you explored really everything about this game? Do you, you know as much as anybody about this game? Yes. So you know that how many new species of dinosaurs are in this game? Well, there's this one, right? This poor guy right here. These guys trying to fly in. Here they come. Here they come. They fly <laughs> these, them these big boys right here. Look at this. Well, they, of course, looked like, you know, uh, the, you know, brachiosaurs mm -hmm. or the... Not the Bronto. Why is Brontosaurus? Why why did that get, hmm, you know, replaced by Brachiosaurus? They were kind of the famous ones, I think. Right. Everyone was like, oh, Brontosaurus. Plus, it's easy. Yes. Like Dino, Dino. Dino in Fred Flintstone, in the, in the Flintstones, was a, you know, a uh, bra, Brontosaurus, I think. You know, Brontosaurus burger they mm -hmm. used to have on the Flintstones. You yeah, know. stick the ribs right on the side of the Cecil. Car. Do you remember Cecil the sea sick sea serpent? I, I, here's the thing. I do, but I've never seen it. Ah, uh, I know it. From Beanie and Cecil. Beanie, who was a something else, and Cecil, who was Cecil the Sea Six Sea Serpent. Yes. Was kind of like the, you know, the Loch Ness Monster, who some think, you know, some think actually exists, and some think is a kind of a what? If they think they, he exists, uh, what is he? A kind of a he leftover... Uh, what would those be called? Like a plesiosaur or something like that? They have oh, a specific name. You're above my, uh, you're talking over my head now, but I, I think it's some kind of... Now, Dr. Ian Malcolm, from the ashes of disaster, which means you think you can do so again. When did Ian Malcolm become German? I, I like this new idea of German. Maybe I'll go back and loop all the movies and make him German. Life finds the way. Life yeah. finds La, life the way. Finds the way. I probably shouldn't do that. I'm probably insulting <laughs> some, somebody. I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize. All right, so this, like, is looking good. So I need to make a specific type oh. of seed plant for these guys. Seed plant? Yes, they like ground nut, apparently. What'd you call me? <laughs> they like ground nut? Oh, ground nut. Yes. Oh, I, I thought you said they, they like ground nut. True or false? I did a series one time called Ten Speed and Ground Nut. True. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? It was 50-50 shot. I went with it. I figured... No. Might as well ground. <laughs> Ten speed and brown shoe, not ground nut. I was half right. Okay. Well, no, you were all wrong. <laughs> I think you were all wet. Okay. How? <laughs> by the way, how close is this to the city of, of San Diego? You showed me before, but now I want to see again the proximity of the city. Oh, yeah. Because no, I'm getting a bad it's feeling. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's all right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is what I thought. And the there's bridge a bridge. Right there. And I'm seeing a bridge. Ay, ay, ay. In a matter of. Three minutes, any of these guys, especially the Velociraptors no. or something, can cross that bridge and be in downtown San Diego at the <laughs> Starbucks, in, you know, in five minutes. It is perfectly fine. They don't even worry about it. There's nothing to worry about. Yeah, nothing to worry about. All right. Okay. These guys. This is for Ian Malcolm. This is like shooting fish in a barrel. This is like, here's where you're going wrong. And still, we're getting price tags on things. Wow. But the people love it, and that, I think, is important. <laughs> I, okay. The company that I work for is very impressed with, you know, what we opened the park, yeah. and uh, we got dinosaurs in it. That's, you know, and that's it. That's the bar. That, that's the low bar that we have to reach. Think uh, of where we started. Who, who, what is the, you, you referred to, who, what is the company you work for? Oh, um... Engine is like, they're great people, and there's nothing wrong with them. And frankly, I think You've drunk that yeah. whatever they get up to, it's all good by me. Oh my gosh. I had no idea. We need to de deprogram you. <laughs> you, 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 no. You're, you're, you're lending your, 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 your formidable talents to an operation that doesn't deserve you. They gave you my own staff. I knew I, I had to do this. Mm. They were my like, staff. look, you can have people. Would you like to see me with a, a big staff, like uh, a big walking stick or a staff? 
Remember, they used to call that a staff. I Not only would I love that, I think everyone on the internet, and I'm going to, dare I say the world, would love if you had sort of a prop that you always carried with you. I'd love a staff. I'd love a staff. Do, who, oh, you know who I saw one time? I was at some event, and I saw Prince. I saw, I had a Prince sighting. He went back, and I believe he had, uh, he kind of floated by as if he wasn't taking steps. I believe, I, I swear he was just floating. And he, he had some kind of, Walking staff, like that. You know? I think that's amazing. Wait. You, you do. <laughs> back in the park. This is the kind of fun that you can be having as you're playing the game. It doesn't require your full attention. It isn't some kind of. It's a kind of a social lubricant, I think, and a conversational mm, 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 massager. Oh, I mean, we we got one and a half stars. So that's pretty good. I don't like it. One and a half stars. I don't think I've ever been in any associated with anything in my life that's gotten to one and a half stars out of five. No, that's not true. I have. I'm, I'm glad I could be a part of that. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad we could really get one and a half stars on this. And uh, okay. here's the thing. Yeah. We made a profit. Okay. If that's the goal, if that's the bottom line, I say that. Li I say what Clifford Odette said: Life is not written on dollar bills. Life is not written on dollar bills. Uh, there's something like, more important, yes. We did do 210% better than last month, so like... D didn't you just hear what I said, man? 210% though! Uh, all right, okay, that's, that's, that's more than 100%. Yes, yes, but I, finally, m more, you know, is more the, the, the... Isn't that the epidemic? Isn't that the poison? Isn't that the virus that's ruining everything? Must have more, must grow, must have more. No, less I say, less is more. Mmm, mmm. Well, unfortunately, I think you might win this time because uh, we don't have time for any more. So as much money as I wanna make, we have, to, we have to stop. Be satisfied with what you've got. You made you 210% if that's what you're after. You, you, you're I increasing. Totally lost. I'm your good luck charm. I think we did well. We lost two million dollars. Oh, well, this is this is you just telling me this. Is, I'm receiving this news for the first time. How did we lose two? What do you mean we lost two million dollars? I thought we, we increased two hundred ten percent by uh, on last month. We still we lost that much more last month. I try to look at it positively, but we do only have one and a half stars. I say it's a good start. I say we're right on schedule, and. Five stars is within our reach, and we're going to get there soon. If we, you know, get down to brass tacks and do all our studying, I feel we're ill-prepared. I think we have to know more of what we're after, of our overall purpose, and then finally get it well-staffed so that we know really what we're doing. What we're, do going, we're, going, we're going bankrupt. Well, that's good news. If that's what must happen, then that's good news too. There's no losing in this game. If we go bankrupt and we must shut the park down. Then what are we gonna do with the dinosaurs? That's a good question. Then we can concentrate on that. We have to do what's best for them. Maybe If we have zero dollars, the only place for them is San Diego. We're gonna have to like rent them an apartment, get them a, <laughs> get them a whole place there. <laughs> Nonsense. Here, sing with me. In Jurassic Park. In Jurassic Park. Scary in the dark. Scary in the dark. I'm so scared that I'll be eaten. I'm so scared that I'll be eaten. That's our show. Drive safely. You can't get better than that. <laughs> Thank you so much. I guess that's it. Yeah, that's it. You're, we You're pulling the plug. Oh gosh. I mean, I don't want to. I could do this all day. So could I. I got uh, not all day. I could go for an extended weekend or week or a lost couple of weeks. I'm all I'm saying is I'm down for that. You say the word. Um I'll I'll pick you up. I'll show up like let's go. If this is me saying the word. If the word is if this is the word, if the Done. word is the word, and that's it. Yeah. We're we're yeah. Yeah, well, we'll just, I'm parked out back. Jump on in. Let's get out of here. What kind of car do you have out back? Uh, well, I was driven here, so I, it's not my car. It's oh. like another guy's car. But that guy 
will drive us wherever we need to go. This is starting to sound shady to me. Maybe I don't know enough about you to launch into a thing like that. Uh, I'll check in and uh, I'll check back. Yeah, well, you know, they they have my references. The internet knows. And so it'll be fine. Trust <laughs> trust me. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, mm -hmm. excellent. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Oh, am I? Oh, my God. I want you all to see this. 